Namaskar. I humbly present my book, a monograph on Yakshagana to the readers. This is the first ever book in English, comprehensively dealing with Yakshagana. In this book, I have a prologue where I discuss the genesis of this book. My professor S. V. Jogarao was the first pioneering person who did research on Yakshagana and published his doctorate as a patient way back in 1961. I became a student in 1973 and worked under his for my PhD. And I have been his student for over 20 years before and beyond my PhD. He was mentioning to me once that if this book at all gets translated into English, it should be by me. Now this book is a form of his wish but actually not a complete translation as such. In this book, I have seven chapters. In the first chapter, I dealt with the origin, etymology, evolution, and history of Yakshagana. In the second chapter, deals with, we have different kinds of prosodic styles, prosody chandas, it's also called meter, the way poetry is written in Indian languages. So the second chapter deals with the salient features of Yakshagana, which is the basic structure of prosody in various uh, compositional styles in Yakshagana. Daru, Reku, Ardha Reku, Ardha Chandrika, Yala, Jola, Kandam, Sisam, Utpalamala, Champakapala, many, many kinds of prosodic styles with examples from various Yakshaganas. This deals with prosodic styles in Yakshagana. The third to seventh chapters deal with different styles of Yakshagana. The third chapter deals with Malatur Bhagavat Mala. The fourth chapter deals with uh, Karnataka Yakshaganas. The fifth chapter talks about Shahajis, the Maratha ruler who composed Yakshaganas and Pallaki Seva Prabhandams. So Shahajis, Yakshaganas and Pallaki Seva Prabhandams are in the fifth chapter. And the sixth chapter I have Kuchipudi Yakshagana. In the seventh, I have, I have taken some important Yakshaganas in Telugu literature during the Nayaks period and the Marathi rulers because that was the golden era of Yakshaganas. And I have an appendix. Uh, actually, three appendices are there. In the first appendix, I deal with Chandas, the quality, the lessons of Chandas, basically because most people may not be aware of Guru, Laghu, how to write poetry, the Ganas, the Chandas, and all the things, with examples from the Yakshaganas, Yati, Yati, Prasa, Guru, Laghu, Chandas, Ganas, and things like that. And in the second appendix, I dealt with uh, the notations from Malaturu, Yakshagana Prahalada. The third appendix deals with the, the notation of Pallaki Seva Prabandham, Shankara Pallaki Seva Prabandham of Shahaji. And I also have an index of some important words followed by bibliographies of important books. But the end I wrote, in the end I wrote an epilogue where I talked about the importance and pre eminent position of Yakshagana, which even excels, sometimes superior to even Sanskrit drama tradition. Not to undermine Sanskrit drama tradition, but it has taken from Sanskrit drama tradition, enveloped so many other things, and embraced many other regional aesthetic sensibilities, and became a very a comprehensive form of art with music, dance, literature, rhythm, prosodic styles. So this book, I think, is a complete, comprehensive book on Yakshagana. And then I am I'm hopeful that this book is successful. It will be because of the inherent uh, components of this book and it will define, redefine and revive the art form Yakshagana. 
and I am grateful that the University of Silicon Andhra has agreed to publish this book. Dr. Anand and Raju Chamarthi, I am thankful to them. I am also thankful to two of my assistants who helped me in writing this book, Dr. Sampriti and Dr. Yadam. This book is being monitored by Raju Chamarthi. The progress of this book has been monitored and is published in publication is being monitored by Raju Chamarthi. I am grateful to him and also to Mr. Panimadha, who has been working endlessly for uh, untiringly towards publishing this book with quality and uh, on time. I'm thankful to all of them. I dedicated this book to my wife, Jaya, who passed away halfway through, through the book while I was writing it. And I offered this as Guru Dakshina to my professor. I only wish that readers will enjoy this book. It will rekindle research among youngsters to further study Yakshagana and refine it, redefine it and revive it. Thank you very much. Thank you.